not saying anything. <laughs> Stop laughing. I'm serious. I suppose your exit has expired. Are you staying the night? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I know that was a silly question. <laughs> Strong man. Mm -hmm. You're headed home to do part two. We should eat. Dad will eat whatever I see whenever it comes. Must we always eat dinner together? I'm starving, please. Mom, it's not usually this late. Mom, Dad has been more than this late. You just don't notice it. You're being blinded by love if you ask me. Mm, let's hope that you won't be blinded by love when you get married. I will include fasting to my prayer. Mommy, it's still okay. I'm hungry. Actually, I'm hungry. Fine, I'll save your food. Mommy, hmm? I want that rainbow dodo. I don't like bunker. You will eat the one I serve you. Mm -hmm. I want that rainbow dodo. I said no. Whatever I give you, you eat. your food on the table but it must be cold by now so why don't I heat it up while you Um, baby, the food is on the table. Can we go and have... Um, okay, since you won't eat, can we pray? Good morning, Dad. Good morning, dear. 
Only you. Bread, eggs and sausages. Daddy. Yeah. I thought you said you're working for the family. Well, did anyone say otherwise? Good morning. Morning. I sent you a text message. I saw it. Princess, meet me in the car, okay? Hurry up, baby. I'm in the car, okay? I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Bye, baby. Uh -huh. Mommy, hmm? why is it that you and Dad always send text messages to each other, even though you're in the house together? Baby, your daddy's waiting for you. You'll be late, okay? I'll see you after school. Uh-huh. Nice way of telling me to shut up. I love you! I love you. Hello? I said I'll look into it. I know. Erumina. Erumina, what part of what I just said don't you understand? I said I'll look into it. I am not shouting. Look, I'm in a meeting right now, okay? I have to call you back. Well, hello. <laughs> How are you, my love? Like, seriously? <laughs> well, why not? You know I love bedroom lunch. Uh-huh. Well, I have a court session, after which I have um, some arbitration meetings, and um, should be done by 2 p.m. Why was that? I will see you soon, baby. All right. <laughs> You don't have to shout at me like I'm some house help. Yeah, what if I do? Huh? What if I yell? It's the same goddamn thing with you every morning. What you think I go to sleep, pick money in my dreams, and then give to you in the morning? That's what you think? What do you do with the money from the crutch? The accounts are there for you no. to see. Fine. Do whatever you want. Is this about money? Why is it that every time I try to talk to you, it ends in an argument? Well, because you don't make sense anymore. Let's do this. No. Do that. No. I'm tired, okay? That's just being honest with you. I'm tired of this thing, this facade or charade they call a marriage. It's going to me here. Every time we have a little misunderstanding, you say that you are tired of the marriage. 
Well, if I remember correctly, you asked me to marry you. Huh? Well, newsflash. Newsflash, Uri. I'm the same person saying it to you. I'm tired. Have a nice day. Thank you.
Please, can you get me some water? She not coming. Well, she's still in bed. Where? Right. We gotta go. Daddy. Yeah. You know she isn't feeling well. She's not. Why do you say so? Yesterday she complained about headache and she had a lot of drugs. Oh. Well, she'll be fine, and I'll be late. All right. So let's go. This is Satagana. This is not looking good. I need to speak with your husband. He's... He's not in town. And he cannot be reached by this? responding to chemotherapy. If the results of the test come out, we may have to... I believe there will be a positive result, doctor. I am a child of faith. Well, Faith they say without war is dead. I too have faith. And that is why I became a medical doctor. We treat and God heals. No matter how faithful and righteous you may be. Please, do not rush to see God. See him only when he wants to see you. City pharmacist. I 
I'll be fine, doctor. I know I will. Thank you. Lucky you. I can't remember the last time I went out socially. It's been work, church, and home. You should ask your husband to take you out once in a while. I mean, I see no sin in that. Besides, you two used to be quite the party animals. I know. But that time has passed. He's been really busy lately, and you know my condition. I have to take it easy. Other than that, he has been really caring when he wants to be. Anyway, you have a loving husband. I don't see why you two need to be out every night. Besides, you have worn the shirt, played the game, been on the reserve bench and even been a spectator. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, can I say hi to him? It's been too long since I heard from him. Oh, no, he's not here. Um, something about some foreign clients that came into town. Oh, okay. But Arrow, I need you to pray for me. Seriously, I need a man of my own. I'm tired of all these young boys who keep coming window shopping, but they never buy. If at least one of them had half the qualities of your for me. Girlfriend. Menopause has come knocking. <laughs> I hope I'm married before her final entry. Come on, you will. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh at me. I'm serious. Wait, where are you? I can hear music. I'm somewhere in town on this island. But anyways, we'll talk later, okay? Okay, you take care of yourself. Okay, baby. I'm good. So. So, where are we? How do you mean? For my, I am tired of just being the other woman. Time and time again, you say nothing about our situation. Or am I just an energizing meal or something to recharge your dead marriage? Well, come on, I haven't said that, have I? But you say nothing. You say absolutely nothing about our situation. I used to know you as the kind of man who defined exactly what he wanted. Or am I just, are you using me until I become useless? Oh, come on, I told you I'm working on it, all right? You just don't seek and get a divorce, do you? It's not a driver's license. You just don't walk into a room and get issued one. It doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. No, it's not. But I am not just the lady that you keep coming to to recharge your batteries every time you're tired. Meaning? Meaning that very soon, and I promise you, the power to recharge may not be available. Okay. Uh, I don't know what has come over you. Did you fight somebody over the phone? All I'm saying, Fume, is that this lady needs to know exactly what cards are on the table. I thought you'd already have been cremated. I wish I were. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure you're okay? I'm fine. I just need some fresh air. <laughs> Which one? Imported fresh air or local fresh air? And don't tell me it's one of those people Please. that's... 
I need good company. I don't need you to make things worse. Ah. So what exactly am I? Hmm? Am I your energizer or your inflator? You're my <laughs> very good friend and a shoulder to cry uh. on. Aren't I lucky? Oh, you know, I don't usually do married women. But for you, I'll make an exception. <laughs> so where do you want me to take you? The cinema? The seafood restaurant? Whatever. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I'll just get my bag. Okay. okay. Hurry up! Sorry, honey. That was my sister from the UK. It's about my apartment. Mm. And you couldn't answer your call here? The network was bad. The same network we've been using to make calls. I get it. It's an international call, so it demands a special network, right? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I know when you're talking to another man. <laughs> and I don't know when you're speaking to your wife. That's not the same. Oh, please. So, when you're speaking to your wife, she's not another woman, but whoever I'm speaking to, it's another man. Look, all I'm saying is you need to accord me some respect and some regards. <laughs> For me, I don't suffer. <laughs> take me for? Some remnant woman. I should be okay when you speak to your wife, yeah? I'm supposed to understand my position. See, I am the side chick, yeah? The SIC, that means should in case. I am the power bank. I am your recharge card. The one that always responds to your stimulus. Look, okay, I'm not saying that. Uh, oh, uh, I am. No. I understand perfectly my position, but I'm about to change all that. If after all this time, you haven't made up your mind, then please, go. Go and sin no more. What are you talking about? Go and be a good husband. After all, thou shalt not commit adultery. I'm saying you should go and be a good husband to your wife. Be a man for me. Make a choice, it's either me or your wife. Now please, feel free to use the door. Thank you. Every minute. Every minute. Mm -hmm. Can we talk, please? say this to you. Look, ever since the death of Fury, you've completely withdrawn into yourself. And in spite of all my efforts, 
you've refused to come out of your shell. We, we don't connect anymore. Heck, we don't even communicate anymore. All we do is fight and then we argue. We, we, we're totally strangers living together in the same house. Look, I, I, I thought they said ma marriage is to be enjoyed and not to be endured. And if I'm to use your own words, you're not feeling me anymore. And that, I will, I will say, is mutual. You've changed. If you ask me, I, I believe that we should, we, we should go our separate ways for now. I'm saying I need a divorce. Is that the only way out? What other way is there? I don't know any other way out, okay? Look at you. You've completely changed from the woman that I married. I, I, I don't know any other better way to make you happy and then find my own sanity. See what I'm saying? You're not saying anything. What would you have me say? You want a divorce. I want my sleep. I have church service to attend tomorrow. Good night. Good afternoon, sir. So your husband wants a divorce. And what do you think would make him want to divorce you? I really can't say, sir. I can't say. But things haven't been the same ever since the death of our son. <laughs> That's not enough a reason. After all, both of you are aware that the children are involved and must be considered. He still holds me responsible for his death. Who 
Well, can somebody tell me our mother will be in the same house with her kids and not give an eye on what the kids are doing? Huh? I need answers! Come in. Calm down and sit down. Kidia! I am sure no mother, no mother in this world will intentionally endanger the lives of her children. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Well, I'll show you one. Here's one sitting right in front of you. Oh. I swear I'll never forgive you. Eh? In the form, eh? On the day. Now, which kind one you just they throw away brigade, you throw away brigade since morning? Then they tell you, say, make you cool temper, you know, one cool temper. This one not solve matter at all. Eh? This one went with the chalk, so this picking. Now, my own grand sight, whoa. Eh, eh, you know, Morgan. You they cry, they cry, they cry, like say, make your eye, make you come out, make you fall outside, like a ogono on frog go. You're not going to do anything now. You're not going to bring the child, come back. Then tell you, say, you know, if you get another child, you yourself, self, in a form, you look yourself, so te, so te, you can't just say, you know, if you get another child again. Tell me now. Go away, take this one, go. Now they say, go, go, give one another side now. So which one now you call the beggar, the throw away, the, the, the scatter body? Anyhow. Well, uh, you did hear? You did hear? This is the time you two need each other. No. You need each other. More than ever before. You need to console each other. Start loving each other. You should know that this time, Forgiveness is most important in marriage. Yes, sir. Hey, brother, I thank you very much. If you say, you will just discharge, discharge. Your uncle, my brother, will just sit down here. You go talk, say, you don't know the story again. You don't know the things when you when he pass through for life before you come, because when you don't do. Brother, what will not be? Your best. computer data is starting to come. I say, what will not be? I be go tell me saying forget my uncle way way there for Anaja. Oh, my the my one way no way. Make I tell you if you don't forget way they work for Anaja sneak up now. You know no say now so you to get plenty wahala. This is be like say there for the family. You know, only your father now I just say he just stand out to so in a fire. Everybody know me self where are the casualty in my body the year. He did hear where well, well. well. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because anytime when he throw the ball like this, I saw a Bukasha. He threw a cash. He threw a cash. Not to everybody come, they want me, make I not kill myself before I can stop for that one. So what in me once we go happen now to solve the whole matter? Be say, make two of now jump, go for bed. They could not give me another grand shy. Yes, now. Could not give me another grand shy. Mm -hmm. Make you just the throw the ball, make you yourself, make you the cash out. Make you the throw and the give and yourself, make you the cash out. As you the throw and you the cash out, make you the cash out, make, make sure say, yes, I will work. Can I leave? You yeah, can leave. Go. Sit down. Are you sure that's the only reason? I think so. Mm. I think otherwise. Yes. There must be something else. Something that he is doing or you are not doing. I really can't think of any. Mm. And you are sure you are not failing in your conjugal responsibilities? No, sir. He has even refused to come near me in bed. you need to sit him down and ask him what the real problems are. 
Yes. Uh, you see, both of you are seen as a loving couple. You know, picture perfect. You understand? And uh, I find it very difficult to believe some of the things that I'm hearing. said anything about my request for a divorce. Do you need me to tell you that I'm serious? I heard you. You'll be late for work. Well, well work is secondary to me right now. Look, I've been thinking about it, all right? And I think it's just best for us. Well, it's only proper that we go our separate ways peacefully until it generates into... May I ask... Why you want a divorce? Is there another woman? Must it be about another woman? The, the thrill, the, 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 the muse, the, the magnet between us is gone. It, it's not there anymore. Can't you see it? So what do you want me to say? What do you mean what I want you to say? I'm asking for a divorce. All right, look. I'll make this easy for you, okay? I'll leave the house for you. You, you could keep the school complex, okay? And, and even a good portion of our estate will go to you. I can even give you a monthly pay, okay, for upkeep. I, I'm willing to do everything and give you all you want. I just need my sanity back. I need my life back, okay? I need my peace of mind back. No. No to what? No to what? In a form. When I married you, you had just graduated law school. We slept on a bare floor. You had no cars, no property. We didn't even have a home, as it were. But I prayed. I kept faith. I fasted for your breakthroughs to come forth. I married you because I loved you. Not because of all these things you have listed. So why should I now deprive you of your hard-earned wealth? Because we are getting a divorce? I come from a home. Oh, is that all you have to say? Hey, Romena. Hey, I'm not joking about this, so I, I, I'm serious, okay? I, I don't need this generating into anything more than this, so... What can I say? Eru, what, what can I say? This is sad. This is terribly sad. You know what? This... This is emotional abuse. And then he went ahead to reel out the benefits if I agreed to a divorce. Like it was some kind of pension gratuity. Men are wicked. Men are truly wicked. I mean, eight years of beautiful marriage, a beautiful daughter. And to think that we all, we all look at you both as the perfect couple. Yeah. That's the picture that we present to the outside world. The ideal, perfect, loving, caring couple. Just like a fruit that's perfect on the outside, but rotten on the inside. This is why I ask myself sometimes if I really want to get married. I mean, look at what's happening to you. 
gosh, this is horrible. You know, the heart of a man is truly wicked. Don't give up. Okay, don't. I'm absolutely sure this must be a joke. It's a joke. And I am so sure that he has some stupid girl out there spinning his head off. Uh, and I, and I, and I stop. People are starting. No, let them stare. I don't care. And I stop. Stop it. Stop. Please stop. I'm so stop. sorry. This is getting more serious than I thought. Did you accept his offer? Yes? I couldn't, sir. I'm just so confused. Should I have? Hmm. It's a good thing you didn't accept the offer. Yes. You see, marriage it's not a commercial endeavor or business venture. Okay? The institution of marriage is more spiritual than most people think. When you are materially blessed when married, it's just for worldly comfort and nothing more. But when you begin to capsulate your marital blessings based on physical and material benefits, you've lost it. Off the mark. There is more to it. God, in his infinite wisdom, knows why a man needs a woman. As a partner, a companion, a soulmate. Now, let me ask you, and be very sincere with me. Do you really love your husband? Yes, I do. And you still crave for his presence, companionship, warmth, romance? Do you? I do. Children of today, imbibe the fear of God into your lives. Hmm. Now, go back there. And when he insists on the divorce, hmm, let it be based on your terms. Terms? Terms. Do I have terms? Yes, of course you have terms. You do. And when you go home and he brings up this matter again, tell him these are your terms. In it for me. Now, what do you tell us to do? Mama, nothing is wrong with me. I bet shut up your mouth. Okay, let me hear what. You wear things that go different from. Oh. Then really talk, say dog, nothing bon cat. Eh? Now your father is left, now you won't follow. We'll be saying marry today, tomorrow is divorce. Me, I not go grief for you. I no go grief for you at all, at all. You dey hear me so? Mama, Mama, you are not listening, okay? Th that woman has completely changed. I bet come up for that. Okay, let me see, Rod. Okay, I come up for that, I get a couple of days change. Woman, we'll be saying carry belly for nine months. Come bump, picking, finish, come suffer on top and suffer with the picking. Picking can't die. Now you can't tell me, say, you not go change. Even if I mean, no call that side here again, no. You not think, say, the battery will day your head, the bill, I say, you don't die, it's first one. Eh? Ask me. <laughs> they really talk and say, woman will suffer with man from scratch, you know, they get value. The one way be say is short finish, clean mouth, way be your lele fue. Now they get value. You can't want be like your father, way be say they shit everywhere, reach a shit, reach a shit. He shits full everywhere like a foul way, take punch. Eh? Man, you're not getting my point. Which point? How can I be in a situation that I'm not even feeling it anymore? 
And then you are my mother. My, 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 my happiness will matter to you. I beg you, make you keep quiet there. Tell me. You know the spelling of uh, uh, happiness. If I tell you, make you spell it. It's H A P P. Shut up! You make me. Happiness now, waiting you decide for your own belly. Say you won't make yourself happy. Now you feel make yourself happy. Me, where you they see for here? You still say your father, when I married for 40 years, he give me happiness. Let me create happiness for myself. Oh. Come make her see again. Say you tell me, say they go shush. For now, shush, they know they tell you, now say, hey, they, to her, this human. To air is human. Yeah, you Mama. Call, yeah, you, 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 to air. Yeah, you sabi. Yeah, you, to her, this human. To find you understand what you are at the top. Say, make you the forgive person. So. Hmm. So, Fume, Sir. what will you say is the cause of this development? Well, Uncle, it, 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 it's a concentrate of so many irreconcilable differences. Hmm. Concentrate? Yes. Do it by who? Hmm. I guess by both of you. Because it takes two to tango. Look, Uncle, Elo has changed completely. She has grown so cold and so confrontational that even I am scared to stay in the same house with her. I see. And when did this coldness or whatever you describe it start? I guess since the demise of Fury. Nothing I do seems to be right anymore. Is it that there's one money to be paid? Me coming in late or, or, or me not even caring. I say one thing and then she reads a different meaning to it. That, that's why I said it, it's best for us to just stay, go our separate ways and stay apart for now. Sure. Sure. I do understand. Hmm? Yeah. Yes? Separate ways it must be. Yes. But it comes with a question. The question is, will you be going the right separate ways? I do, I do not understand either. For me, you know what? You know every bit of my life story. Have you ever wondered why I divorced my wife? Hmm? You see, when I asked for divorce, I felt the same way as you're feeling, exactly the same way you're feeling right now. I wanted her to leave because I knew it was the right thing for me to do. After I had a waiting woman, or a lady waiting in the wings, and when she left, oh yeah, Oh, la la. I, I thought I'd recaptured my independence, my freedom, my sanity back. New romance with my new queen. But today, you know how I feel? I feel so empty. Self-inflicted, lonely and deserted. And you know, sadly being used by this so-called new queen. This new queen that I thought would change my life, saw nothing but my wealth and perceived my vulnerability before I knew it. Uncle, Uncle, you don't know what I'm going through. Oh, well, you don't know what I'm going through either. You don't. You don't know how I feel as a divorcee at this my age. 
Kumi. There is no good woman out there. Neither is there any better man out there. The only thing you find out there is compatibility. Marriage is an institution of compatibility. Learn fast, boy. Learn. Learn how to forgive, okay? Yes, but Uncle, can I say one thing? Well, you don't have anything to say. I think whatever you want to say, I've said it all, and I've said it all. 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 You see? Make the call. I'll, I'll call her, him back. <laughs> they say God hates divorce. But I will say man should detest divorce. It kills faster than cancer. Get your bag, let's go. Do you want to be late? Where are you now? Hello, Madam. Good day, ma. Good morning. Can I help you? Um, are you Mrs. Eru Atagana? Yes, I am. Okay. What's the problem? Um, this is for you. You've been served. Served? Yeah. <laughs> served what? Oh, you are free to go through the content. Good day. You served me. Yes, I did. Just in case you think I'm not serious and I may renege my pronouncements. Or that my mother may dissuade me. If being married to me is causing you so much grief, then I'll grant your wish. But on my terms, I still have a say, don't I? I'm ready. Okay, pick up your bag. Let's go. Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You are crying.
So, what does she want? Well, funny, she wants 21 days. I don't understand. She wants us to relieve our courting days. Wedding day, after marriage habits. You know. She wants things to go back to the same way it used to be. We'll do that for 21 days, and then we can go our separate ways. And she won't even contest the divorce. This is very strange. Are you absolutely sure that's all she wants? Yeah. I mean, she even, she tore up the divorce papers that I drew up. She said she didn't want any of it. All she wants is 21 days of us being together. Nobody goes to work. Just two of us by ourselves, period. And where does that leave us? Well, if that's what she wants, then let's just give it to her. Right? <laughs> Look. It's better being with her for 21 days than enjoying a lifetime of her staleness. Uh, isn't it? This doesn't feel right. I'm starting to think that maybe we should just call this off. What? No. Look, not today, not tomorrow, not never, all right? Look, I have plans. I have something for you. It's an engagement. Ring. Is that for me? Of course it is. I don't need you to say yes because I already know your mind. Sorry. This is so beautiful. Just like you. Are. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Do you remember the first time we were here? Coconut rice, wine, chicken. Yes, that's all we had. But do you remember how long ago that was? It was eight years ago. Hi, Kevin. Uh, Hi, good evening. Thank you. Would you please tell this handsome man over here how much I love him? Wow. Glinta, your wife really loves you and I really hope you know that she's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You will not believe it. I just went to this beautiful bridal shop earlier. I saw this amazing gown. You will love it. So, I'll send you a picture on WhatsApp. How's it going? I hope I can charge you up later. How far? Tell me about the invitations. Are they ready? Good. Um, maybe send me a few pictures on WhatsApp and then I'll choose one. I, I am excited too. You know. Okay. All right. I'll be waiting. Don't take too long. Okay? Send them now.
I'll do it. Do it again? Yeah. Hello? Hi, love. Hi. I've been kind of missing you. Um, yeah. Can you sneak out for a few minutes? Uh, well, I'll see what I can do, okay? You can't talk or what? What's going All on? Alright. He hung up. Pick <laughs> uh -uh. up. Is he?
a small cup because you're small. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually small. No, she's a big person. You just don't know. <laughs> you want some? Mm, daddy, daddy, why are you cheating? Uh? <laughs> Give her a few more. Mm. this morning uh, yes ma yes ma where is he he went out he packed his load and went out ma Up and I didn't see you, so I. Oh, I'm sorry, Vic. I just thought to drop some um, dirty clothes at the laundry, and then I stopped at the market to get some fresh fish so I could cook you some correct ukodo. Served in there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get. for you. Mm, thank you so much. That's so thoughtful. <sighs> thank nothing. you. 
I've been trying to call you. So I decided that I will come and visit the Rufini Morning Couples. I'm sorry. My phone has been off for the past few days, you know. Full concentration, mm -hmm. no distractions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I decided that after everything you told me, I had to come and check and make sure that that man did not kill you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> See, the thing is, uh -huh. We were a bit awkward around each other at first, but the last few days have been amazing. <laughs> so awesome. That's exactly what I want to hear. Mm. I'm so excited for you. So, uh, I guess we got our groove back. Huh. Thank God. Thank God. Did he tell you about the other girl? Uh, will he admit? You know men rather die than admit. Besides, who cares? I have my husband back and that's the most important thing. <laughs> you are so lucky. Mm -hmm. Most women are not as lucky as you are when faced with such threats. You know, most women get their husbands back battered, abused, stressed, and <laughs> absolutely useless. I know. I think women just need to learn that there's no one size fits all in marriage. We must all seek divine wisdom. So anyway, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> this happened and you didn't Stop. even mention it. Oh, come on. Come on. This is nothing. It's nothing. It's just one small boy. He was pestering me, so I bought this to scare him off. You bought an expensive ring to scare someone well, I off. I will give you the gist. Relax. Relax. How did you Relax. Even tell me? What? <laughs> Surprise. How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, I'm good. Um, sweetie, I was just about to tell NI how we plan to renew our vows. <gasps> yeah. Really? Yeah, it's been an amazing discovery. It it's has. amazing. I'm so happy for both of you. Thank you. <laughs> Baby, I, I totally forgot the tickets. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the tickets to the show. Oh. Yeah, let me go get them. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, and I think I should be leaving as well. I have to go pick up my car from the garage, so... Oh, why don't you drop her off then? What? Yeah. Why? Uh, oh, yeah. We're, yeah. we're going the same way. <laughs> All right. Hi, sweetie. It was great to see Thank you. you. Thank Love you so, so much for coming see you around. See soon. Let me go get this. Take care right. of yourself. Right. All right. Bye. Hey, Nari, how are you? I'm good. What are you doing in my house? Well, I came to see my man and my friend. Look, and I. And I. Look, I, I think you should understand, okay? The, the past few days has made me have a rethink. Everyone needs me. Better still, I need her, okay? So where does that leave us? Where does that leave me? Nine years of my life we have been together for me. All the way from school. I knew you before you married her. You always told me that marrying her was a mistake. You met her through me. You told me that you would divorce her after you lost your son. Look, what I say and what I do are two different things, all right? Well, I'm sorry. That, that woman is more than that. She's more than what? So, she, so I am less than her. Oh, I get it. I understand entirely. I am your stopgap. I am your pillow. I am simply your power bank. Would you please stop, all right? I said I'm sorry. What would you have me do? Divorcing the woman is not even an option. It's not on the table. Heck, we just found... We just rekindled our marriage, all right? And we're trying to make things work. Let's, let's, let's just end this, and I, okay? Just go about your way and then we could just be friends. Friends? How do you spell that for me, friends? Hey. Nine years of my life I have given you and you have trashed. For me, there will be trouble. Meaning? Take it as you like. After all, you're a lawyer. You deal in trouble every single day. Is that a threat? 
for your information, I'm pregnant. And I intend to keep this one. See, unfortunately for you, condoms are not always a guarantee. Well, congratulations. I think I should take a cab now because this car suddenly feels too small. Confession. Yeah, what? <laughs> like, I really don't know how to say this. You know? What? You know, I want you to sincerely know that the last few days has revealed a whole lot to me. Clearly, I feel like I've taken you for granted. Not only that, I've taken myself for granted and our family. And I want you to know that I... It's okay. It takes two to tango and... I must have played my part in it as well. It's okay. But I need so... to tell you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you go first. No, 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 no you no, go no, no, first. No, you go first. <laughs> Ladies first. Are you sure? Yes. I'm listening. I'm dying. The doctors diagnosed me of colorectal cancer six months ago. What? Look, you didn't tell me? You didn't say anything about it? We never talked. You weren't there to talk to. Every time I tried to talk to you, you were either too busy or you didn't want to be around me. We only reconnected some days ago. Who did you tell about this? Your mom? Auntie Angela? Uncle Edgar, your dad? Who? You want to kill him? I haven't told anyone. The only person who knows about this is N.I. So you knew all this while? Knew what? That my wife had cancer and she didn't have much long to live. I don't know what you're talking about. And even if I did, the last time I checked, I'm not a radiologist or a cancer specialist. How could you be so wicked? Manipulative and heartless! How could you and I? What are you accusing me of? If you couldn't get your dying wife to tell you that she had cancer, who was I to tell you? She probably had her reasons. I think you should go back to your dying wife. So that's what you're waiting on? For her to die? So I can get married to you? <laughs> wake up for me, wake up! Is there a law against marrying your late friend's husband? 
Especially one who confesses severally that he loves you. Oh, you are sick. <laughs> News headline. Thank you. Now leave my house. And before you go, I'll be sure to lose all else that belongs to me as well. And that includes. You are an omen for me. And I would gladly, gladly pay anything to get rid of every memory of you. Exactly, are you going? I... I'm traveling. That's what you said before. I'm going to the hospital. Why? I thought you said you're fine now. I am. Baby girl, you know that you and your daddy are the only family and the only treasures that I have. You know that, right? I want you to always remember that when I'm away. You said you want to be a lawyer like your daddy, right? Yes. When you have to study hard. And never let anything or anyone rob you of your dreams. How long are you going to be in the hospital? I don't know. A few days? A week? Months? I don't know. Why are you crying? Nothing. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Who said you're going to die? The doctors. The doctors say. The doctors say. You're not going to die. What the doctor says is not what God says. Tell me you're not going to die. Tell me you're not going to die. Say it. Tell me you're not going to die. Tell me you're not going to die. Oh, oh, okay, I'm, I'm not going to die. You're not going to die. I'm not going to die. You're not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die.
Jesus, we are told not to question God because he knows everything. So I'm not going to question your father. But please, I want to go through you to know if it is fair about what he's doing to my family. Is it fair taking away all my family members to be with him? Two years ago, my only brother, Fure, died. Now my mom, they be my dad next. Is that fair? You may say yes, he give it and he take it. Fair enough, but why take from, from my family? Lord Jesus, that is not fair and I'm not happy about it. Please, let him know that I am sad, even though I'm not going to stop trusting and believing in him. I know he's still in the business of answering prayers. Attention. The hospital. 